We're good. Are we live? We are live. We're recording? Yes, both. We are both live and recording. We're not, I guess we're not live. We're not streaming it. Yeah, I guess that's true. Sometimes we're live live. Sometimes. Sometimes we're actually doing it. Let's see. Which of these documents is the one that I want? I have so, I have so many pages of text. Well, isn't, isn't one called strip? It's called strip, but there's like, <laughs> there's like a, just a vomit of windows of all the different things I'm writing at oh, any given yeah. time. That's the process for me. I mean, I, that's something that would probably be inconceivable for... This is inconceivable to me. For you, I think. What's that? Working on multiple projects at once? Simultaneously. Yeah, I couldn't do that. Yeah, I think that it requires a different type of focus. But for me, it's like in the type of stuff that I have to write, I often sort of run into walls mm -hmm. on a specific piece of it. Mm -hmm. And so, but if I switch from that to another thing, I figured this out when I was writing the Precipice games. Whenever I get stuck on a particular thing, it's not like writer's block. It's like mm -hmm. I've found like a vein of like some harder mineral or something. Like sure. I can still write. I just can't write that specific thing. Yeah. So once I figured that out, I started having two and three windows open. Hmm. And then as soon as I get stuck, like there's never a moment where I spin at all. Yeah. As soon as I get stuck, what happens like when we're writing a strip? It's like we have to write the strip, and part yeah. of what makes it hard to write the strip is that we can only do that. Got to write if, this strip. If, yeah, if we were if we were sitting here and we had a bunch of projects going, and then the the recorder was going, and it was yeah. like, hey, well now we're going to work on daughters. Now we're going to work on automata. Yeah, it would be a different situation. Obviously, it would run for eight hours. Yeah, there's times where I'll get stuck, like I run into a wall on Thornwatch or something, and I'll switch to another project, but I don't have multiple windows open. No, no, no. It may not even be plausible, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, when I was doing, like, some of the types of stuff that I had to do for the games would be, like, basically Excel spreadsheets right, with a lot of blank spaces in them, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. <laughs> Where it's like, okay, well, we have 20 spells, and they need names, and then this other shit, and then they yeah. need funny descriptions. Right. And, like, all the items, all the monsters... Yeah, filling in blanks is different than other types of writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can usually switch back and forth. But even then, it's like if I'm writing a poem in one window and then I'm writing a news post in another window. Yeah. Like, that works really well. Hmm. And there's weird there's weird crossovers and connections between the different things, too. Um, but yeah, it's time to create, Michael. Okay. And you know this. I know this. You know, you know that that's our purpose. Well, I know why. I, yeah, I have the headset on. And yeah. <sighs> What are we thinking? So you're gonna you're gonna go and teach the young. I'm teaching the young. I got a mail last week from I guess the, they call them art docents at my kid's school. Docent? Yeah, I don't know exactly what that means. Must be teacher. Nah, docent. That's interesting. Because uh, Warforged have a docent. Remember? Oh yeah. The hell. What's a what's a docent? Uh, it's a small metallic sphere, approximately two inches across, studded with gems. <laughs> I, that's not me. Uh, artificiers, artificiers, and warforged alike have so far failed to discover the secret of their construction. It has no apparent abilities. Its powers are only revealed when attached to a warforged. At this point, a docent comes to life literally. A docent is an intelligent magical item designed to advise and assist the warforged. Well, that sounds like Cortana. Yeah. So it's an, ad an advisor, I guess? Yeah, but it's like um, a module. It's like a cognitive... Mm -hmm. Uh, artifact. All right. So, so I'm, an, I'm an art docent. Uh, so what, what does it mean normally? Is it, is it like a teacher? It must be like an instructor. Be a teacher, instructor. So you're installing it in your head or whatever, yeah. right? A, a person who is a knowledgeable guide. Oh, yeah. Especially one who conducts visitors through a museum and delivers commentary on the exhibitions. I got a mail last week that no, that Noah's class specifically had not done any art yet this year. None of the docents had reached out and done anything. So I, I volunteered as tribute. <laughs> no art they have not had art yet this year which is crazy so i'm gonna go in wednesday and give him some art but you said that you said that noah is a is a drawist he is he's very good at art yeah yeah so it's like it's like ronya mm -hmm. where it's just, there's just what he's doing is not normal yeah i mean listen people like to say oh anybody can draw but that's not true you know, you have to be born with 
if not the desire to learn how to draw, at least, you know, some skill, too. Like, you have to have... Well, no, any, listen, anyone can cook. Sure, yeah. You know, but you yeah. might not want to eat it. Right. Right? Yeah. And you can have this skill and not practice it and not hone it, and it just sort of fades away, or you don't, you don't use it. Right. So it's not the be-all, end-all of becoming an artist, but to have it is pretty great to start, like to have that natural tendency. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's definitely the... That's definitely what's going on at my house. It's like, which fucking, maybe it's the same thing with Noah. It's like, which of these fucking things are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. But yeah, he's, he's a bizarre mix because he's doing flag football. He wants to, he likes to run and tackle people. But then when he's at home, he likes to sit at his art desk and Yeah, but I wonder, crafts. I wonder how, in each of these cases, it really is about like coordination. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the idea that he'd have, that seems like an odd mix. It does to me. But I think that, like, motor. Yeah. I think that that's, like, something you have a stat in. Sure. And if it's, and you know, eye coordination, I yeah, guess. It's yeah, it's executed to a certain level. Right. Right? Yeah. Um. Let's see. So, so anyway, I, I enjoy going in and... Oh, yeah, I know. I know. The, the reason I ask is because we have done strips about it in the past. Yes. That is why I brought it up. Ultimately, there's probably value in a C we should probably touch on the C team at some point. Yeah. It doesn't have to be this particular strip. But and you I assume you've played a lot more Mass Effect now. I mean, is anything hilarious happening? I'm still I'm still working on it. I don't know. The struggle? I don't know. You played me some of that dialogue and I don't know how you're if that is if what you played me was indicative of the game, I don't know how you're doing it. Like it's very complicated and confusing for me. In Dark Age, not Dark Age, in uh, Dragon Age of Camelot. No, not, that's not it either. Or, no. In Dragon Age what was the last, Invictus. Whatever the, what was the last Dragon Age? It's Dragon Age Inquisition. Inquisition. So that thing, like rolling around and going to different places, mm -hmm. like that, that tone comes from Lord of the Rings. Where we have this beautiful countryside, you got to go. Those on are those are adventure. like yeah, it's travelogues, really. It is, yeah. It's Anthony Bourdain, parts yeah, yeah. unknown. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's the Mordor version, right? Of Anthony Bourdain's No Reservations. Right. And it's like you're trying the different Mordor foods. <laughs> you know what? But but bizarre eats. <clears throat> no, no, Mordor. But, I, but I'm making. I mean, I'm making a joke, but that's literally what happens. It's like, oh yeah, that's the elf bread limbus, and it's like sure. fucking. That's what they do. Yeah. It's like, oh, you need the king's foil. <laughs> you might call it some other goddamn thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so there's like a, a metaphor there, and then people travel in the sh you know in in sci-fi like you travel in the ship, and then you go, but then you go down, and then you. You know, in those types of things, it's usually a pretty curated experience. You go to a specific place and interact in a specific way. Yeah. And then this, like, I just, I don't want to drive around anymore. So you go to these planets, and each of these planets is an open world type of thing? Well, yeah, yeah, except that I don't think, th I don't think that these open worlds are, I, d I don't find these open worlds as compelling as Dragon Age. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't think that they're as beautiful. I don't think that they're as well thought out. Yeah. I think that they feel a lot more algorithmic and I'm not as invested. I, I, f I fucking hate this. I hate this. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't like, I listen, I can't do that. I can't make that map or whatever. I, I couldn't make a map like this, but I don't want to, I don't want to be here. Well, that's not fair to say, oh, well, I couldn't do better. Like if you go to a restaurant and they serve you shitty food, it's like, well, I don't know how to cook, but I know that I don't like this. Like I'm not going to eat this garbage. Well, like I expect to have well, food prepared by. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, I understand all that, but I just I don't want to. You don't want to not like something. Well, yeah, I want to make sure that I'm giving it. I'm, I want to make sure that I'm giving it the best chance. But just so much of this, so much of it, I I, I haven't I haven't seen the thing that's going to make me keep going yet. Hmm. And it's like I keep trying to find it. Yeah. I keep trying to find the thing that's like, oh, okay, now I'm curious. There's a couple of things that I'm curious about, like the other ships that are supposed to be out here. It's mm -hmm. not really a spoiler. You, you find out about this right away. We're, we're, like, we're a ship that came to this new place, and we don't know where the other ships are. Like that's that, cool. that's, I mean, I would watch that show. That sounds great. Sure. But I compare it 
to the way that it used to work, where it's like I land in a episode of Star Trek. Mm-hmm. My ship lands, and I'm in an episode of Star Trek. It's time to do something. But it's time to do something, and the whole place is custom. It's all mm-hmm. designed for me to interact with it. Yeah. Everything here feels, you know, it all feels handmade. Mm-hmm. And then I travel through this sort of bespoke mash. Yeah, this this sort of morality play. Mm-hmm. And then I make the right calls or the wrong calls, or I make my calls. Yeah. And then my people interact in a certain way, and they provide color commentary. I just don't. I don't know. I, it's like again. It's like I said in the post. Like I'm not opposed to Mass Effect Inquisition. Yeah, but I don't think this is as good as Inquisition. I I liked Inquisition a lot, and I actually hated the first Dragon Age game. But I really enjoyed Inquisition. In fact, it got me reading the books. Like I found the the story so oh, compelling. No, and David, the way it was told in I, that game. I think David's uh, DA books are really good. I mean, if you're yeah. talking about like tie-in fiction for, mm-hmm. a, I think that stuff is fucking out of control. Yeah. And as someone who loves science, like that's what I mainly read is science fiction. Mass Effect should hit all the right buttons for me. Um, and I did like the first it. three. But no, this this most recent one. You don't even own it, right? No. Yeah, this is this doesn't make sense. It couldn't get, I mean, it couldn't pass the the first look test for me. Yeah, you know, anytime you have a, a world that is like past a certain scale, it's like you have to trade something. And in this, you're trading right. some of these you're trading some of these faces and interactions and you know what I yeah. mean? Like there's only so much work that they can do, but it's like, you know, when I played the Witcher, I didn't feel like that. Did you feel like that was a small world? No. Yeah. No. And I loved traveling around in it. I, I, I just, I don't want to drive on this ice anymore. I just, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to be on this ice. Yeah. Zelda is full of empty places that you have to travel through, but they never feel algorithmic yeah algorithmic like there are times especially in like destiny is very obvious in games like that or the division where it's like oh i'm in a loading zone nothing is happening here because oh yeah yeah i'm waiting for the door to open i'm waiting yeah i'm I'm moving technically i am walking through a hallway but this is nothing's happening here and you can tell in some games like they're just like okay this is just a wide open area because we're trying to load some shit on the other side yeah yeah and it's like you, that happens all the way up right yeah and then you get to the door and it still hasn't opened up. You're like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. I know what's going on. I know what this is about. Yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah, who knows? I mean, I'll, I'll, finish, I'll finish this world. I'll, you know, find my memory triggers and <laughs> I'll bring down my pods and drive around. That does not that. sound like a ringing endorsement. Well, I can't, I can't, I can't give it a ringing endorsement yet. Yeah. I would love to. I would love to find the other thing. I just, oh man, I just, I feel like I can see the scripting language. Mm-hmm. It's like the Matrix or something. Yeah. Like when this person is saying something and this person is saying something, I'm like, oh, okay. They're not actually talking to each other or about each other. They're both just making specific comments. They're drawing from a database and- about a thing. And then I can see, like, instead of the dialogue, I just see like the, the code and it, it just feels. So when you get to these planets, do you have like, how do they maneuver you around these open worlds? Are there quests and yeah, okay. yeah? It it feels again. It just it feels like a like an MMO. And Inquisition had a lot of MMO stuff too. Mm-hmm. But I but their meta game aspect where you have this sort of like you know sand table map. Yeah. I I thought that that had that was fun popping around to the different regions. That had a lot of really cool writing inside that. Mm-hmm. sort of resource meta game and its multiplayer was kind of fun too like i heard that you can't pause the game anymore to issue commands m- well not direct commands you can pause the game but well, it's no not- but i mean i'm saying you can't stop combat and like be like you do this you do that you do this and start combat oh, oh like with specific like tell them to do specific things yeah is I, I i haven't seen the ability to do that yeah it's more like you they just do their own thing or you set you set them up with like i, tell, a- I say where yeah. I see where to go. Um, I always like that tactical side of it where it's like, okay, stop for a second. I want you to shoot this guy with this gun. Well, that's how I play effect. DA. Yeah. You know? Too. Yeah, pause it. Yeah. It's like, you drop this here, you drop this here, here comes this combo. Right. Right. You have combos and stuff, but 
I don't know, man. I just there's just there's something I'm missing, or there's something it doesn't have, and I don't know which it is yet. Mm. Gotcha. Oof. Oof. Shooting good. Like the shooting. Yeah. The shooty shoots. Well, I drew the master sword from the stone last night. Oh, for reals? For reals, I did it. Is yeah. it is it pretty baller? It's interesting the way that because I wondered. I'm like, well, I don't want to spoil. Should I not spoil things? Yeah, don't. Okay. Don't. We'll talk about it later. It's handled interestingly. But you have it. I do have it now. And is it awesome? If what you want to do is finish the game, yes. Oh, I see. You don't know if that's what you want to do. I know I don't. You just want to live ready. there. Yeah, I'm not ready to beat this game. Like, I still have... I'm on the third Divine Beast now. So I have another Divine Beast, and I'm only... Ha I'm literally, like, halfway through all the shrines. I have another 60 shrines to go. Do you? Did you bring it with you? No, Kara's uh, collecting and cooking oh, she's, today. Oh, she's, she's cooking, right? She's cooking, yeah. Does she have any cool new foods? Yeah, she's making uh, like these fruit tarts now. She makes apple pie. Oh, with the flour and the sugar. Yeah, she's making a lot more baked stuff. Is it killer? Like, is it? It's good stuff. Yeah. Oh, and uh, if you cook, so if you hold all the ingredients, but one of the slots instead of an ingredient, you put a fairy in there. So you can catch fairies just like in any Zelda game. You put them in a little bottle, and if you die, it brings you back. Oh, I haven't seen that. It. Yeah, it's, it doesn't happen a lot. But if you, instead of saving it to resurrect you, if you throw it in the cooking pot, it flies above the cooking pot and, like, uh, increases your chance to get a crit on the, on the meal. A critical meal? Yeah, so you know how it plays that little song when you're cooking? Yeah, totally. There's a special little jingle at the end of it if you crit. Oh, on the roll. Yeah, and you can get, like, a bonus to the food. Okay, but it's, it isn't a new dish. No, it'll okay. just have a super, like, a ridiculously long effect, or it'll be crazy potent. Oh, man, you just throw in that fairy. But that's the thing, like... Cast some magic on the food. This is the only game where those little tips, right, that come up after 120 hours or whatever, I'm still seeing new tips that are like, oh, that's really interesting. It's actually useful stuff. Yeah, it's whereas, like, hey, press A to jump. Yeah, yeah it's like, <laughs> hey, X crouches after 60 hours. <laughs> Thanks, I got it. Super crouch. Yeah, this is still giving me brand new tips. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we could make Zelda comics probably forever. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I don't have any problem with it. But what I'm trying to figure out is, oh, we, we in that first fifteen, I don't remember where it, which one it was, but it was like they gave you that weird leg thing that you jump and run fast. Oh, valley. Oh yeah. Okay. Wow. How do you? I don't re listen. I'm the one who remembers things. How do you? Why do you remember that? Um, Valia is not a. I don't know why I remember that. Out of the ordinary word. I dude. shouldn't. It was a dumb game. Oh man. Well, anyway, listen. So you have. It was Valia. Yeah. yeah, you could run, and then you like whoosh, jump, and then you could like absorb shit and like kill these fairies or you whatever. Could drain the life force from things. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You could drain the life force from deer. But then we came up with this <laughs> idea that the whole hook. <laughs> the whole the whole hook for it is it's just like somebody's just like they just want to kill deer and so this is their every finish. game every game that they make he's always trying to make sure that deer killing is like a core where are the deer at this game that's my only question <laughs> it's a core interaction it's a cyberpunk <laughs> well yeah detective yeah, yeah. story we didn't put any deer it's sort of a noir thing like a cyber noir <laughs> but no but the idea, it's just like we were watching that that trailer for oh, that yeah. for called? Magica Mystica. How can I remember Valley? But I Medi can't remember the game that I that we watched like ten minutes ago. <clears throat> well, anyway, it's like Overwatch for Honor or something. And it's from the makers of Chivalry. Yeah, it's Chivalry, but the same same idea. Uh, but just the idea, and it's it's. I mean, it's fine. I'll check that out later. But for me, I just want to know. Like, there's just got to be somebody who's just like, oh, every game is just good. It's a fantasy world, but here's the twist. Something weird happened to everybody's dick. <laughs> <laughs> same world, same world you know. Same world you know. Elves, dwarves. What's going on with their dicks? Something crazy. There's a mystery at the heart <laughs> of this dick. <laughs> so how many everybody's dicks are gone? It's just like that. It's like yeah. you have that that indie hit. It's like it's like coming in. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. It's a small town. <laughs> in the Midwest. Yeah. It's like the world you know. <laughs> Amy, With, speaking of indie hold games, on. one difference. <laughs> Where are all the dicks? <laughs> uh, Amy, Amy, do you mean Amy the Falcon? Amy the Falcon 
she plays shitty indie games and likes them because she's a young person. But she sent me a text and she's like, oh, have you played this game everything? You gotta oh, play this game everything. I've only seen videos of it. Yeah, I've watched videos of it too. And I know that it's not something I would ever play. You just, you feel confident. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Even I haven't downloaded it yet. It just makes me hate her <laughs> for liking it so much. You're gonna have a fight? Yeah. Because I feel like she's like, that's the next generation of gamers. And it's like, this is what they want. Well, it's one of the things, but it's like you're having this conversation while you're playing Overwatch, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's true. As listen, long as they don't take over actual games. No, listen, there's always, there's going to be plenty. Yeah, just go to Steam. You'll, <laughs> you'll find some cool stuff. Yeah. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You're going to be good. But even like when you watch the videos of it, it's like, oh, you can play as anything. But no matter what you play as, it just flips. Like, if you play as a cow, it just goes, tonk, tonk, tonk. Like, the cow doesn't walk. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, you like... you like Video games. Well, yeah, <laughs> you want to have interactions and animations. Like, you know, you want to have art. Like, to, that doesn't even parse as a game to you, right? No. Yeah, this is what I mean. Yeah. You, <laughs> yeah, you want, you want to have, like you said before, like, you want to have bespoke, like, you want to feel... You. This is why that type of stuff doesn't work for you at all. Is that for you? This stuff is about intention. Yeah. Yeah. You want. You want to sense the creator in these things, and so Maybe. there's different points in this lever. There's different settings where it's like, okay, over in Minecraft, it's like the world is random. Yeah. But then you're going through and then collecting parts of it and turning them into order. Mm -hmm. Right. That's the interaction there. Is that it starts random, but playing yeah. the game. You progressively make it less random. Sure. All right. And so there's authorship on the part of the player, but then the whole system that informs all those, that's, you know, that's Mo Yang. Yeah. Right? So there's, there's, there's two parts of this system in the inner lock. For you, I suspect when you look at this, it just feels like a math equation. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they've gone through the trouble of modeling all these things, but that's not a game. Well, no, it's like Spore. Yeah. You know, it's like it, it, everybody was like, Spore, Spore, Spore. And you were like, I don't even. Well, no, but Spore allows you to create up front. But then, but then I presume there's no game in it for you after that. No. Yeah. Right. What do you do with it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and this is like, this is like Spore without the creating the monster. Yeah. So it's like, okay, I can flip around as this dumb cow. And then I can look at a rock and then be like, oh, now I'm a rock. And I flip around as this rock. <laughs> what are you fucking doing? <laughs> Well, yeah. Like, all you've done is, I can see that what you've done took a lot of time, but that, what is that? That doesn't have, like, obviously, yes, it took you a lot of time to model all of these things and put them in a video game and make it so you could flip them over. But what the fuck have you done? <laughs> you know, I don't even know what you do in it. I watched a bunch of it, and as far as I can tell, you just get bigger and smaller. And you can get up to as big as, like, the planet. I saw that. It was, like, moving the planet around. And then somebody was like a DNA strand, and they were like moving around as a DNA strand. Oh, I see. Is it not available for PC yet? I think it's on PS4. Again, Sony fucking letting them in. So hold on. So now you're now you're a galaxy. Hmm. And then sometimes you got like a the sheep are rolling around. Yeah, they just roll. Everything just rolls. If you you're like, hey, you can be a house, and then the house just goes tunk 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 like it rotates. It just flips over. Hmm. Hmm. Now I'm a horse. Dunk, 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 just flipping over. Uh, I, it's everything but a video game. I guess I, guess, I have to. Hmm. I have you to know what? I, I would play that. I but have to. I have to be flayed. I um, have to. <laughs> I'm. I'm being flayed this afternoon. So. And I didn't want to cancel. And I didn't want to cancel. I would love to play your game, but uh, the flaying has to take precedence. Got to get this flaying done. No, it's, I've been putting it off. I've been putting, putting it, it off. off and putting it off. <laughs> But they're going to remove all my skin. It's going to, it's all coming off. I'll be alive. I'll be alive and, and conscious the entire time. It's going to be, yeah, yeah. And then, incredibly painful. and then obviously I'll be alive for a period of time after skinless and yeah. screaming without flesh. Yeah. Um, it I will, will be agony. Yeah. I will know only pain, <laughs> but all my exposed nerves will scream. Yeah. We'll shriek. We'll shriek. <laughs> so I'm not going to do it. So, yeah. I'm putting it off. <laughs> Put it off. No, no. So we, we let's just try, let's just write all the things that we just said, and okay. then that'll be the strip. You played everything. You mean everything but a video game? 
I can't. You know why? <laughs> I would love to, but uh, I'm being flayed this afternoon. Uh, no, 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 here. No, come over here. Check out this everything game. In everything but a video game? <laughs> That's not fair. Look, I can be a sheep or a spoon. I would actually, but <laughs> here and then that's you know I'd love to give that a try, but uh, I'm actually being flayed this afternoon. And I don't want to cancel that. I would love to actually, but I'm being flayed this afternoon. I don't want to cancel it. I don't want to cancel it. I've been putting I've been, it off. I've been putting, <laughs> I've been putting it off. And uh, you know, obviously everything looks great, but. Uh, I think I'd rather have my skin slowly peeled off my body. <laughs> I mean, it looks good. It looks great, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I, I think I would uh, rather have all the skin slowly peeled. So slowly peeled off my body in thick strips. <laughs> <laughs> no, in wet strips. In wet strips. No, no, God, what, what was it? It's like juicy like a papaya. Juicy what? like a papaya. What was what was that strip? I don't was remember. That, strip? that was us though, right? Long ragged strips, juicy like a papaya. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just want to make sure it I don't a, do we, that. I hear it in a funny voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'd rather get slowly peeled off my body. Long wet strips. Yeah, there there, there has to be a, a phrase that will have some poetry to it, but will also not infringe on our own IP. If it was more than five years ago, is that we can what? copy ourselves? That's the rule. I'm better than that. Here. <clears throat> Better than the Simpsons? That's Maybe. their rule. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're pro tier, obviously. Here, so come over here and check out this everything game. You mean everything but a video game? <laughs> I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, look, you can be a sheep or a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you actually when I'm being flayed this afternoon. I don't want to cancel it. I've been putting it off for a super long time, and it's like, you know, got got to get flayed. Got to get flayed. <laughs> do, do we like that, or just super long time is good? I'm putting it off for a super long time. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it looks good. Don't get me looks wrong. Good. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I think I'd rather have my skin slowly peeled. See, it's called universals. What's called universals? Yeah, here we go. I've got a ton of problems with The Witcher 3. Oh. Their portrayal of wyverns is quite frankly medieval. <laughs> the cowards at CD Projekt Red are afraid to show the entire wyvern. The wyvern I know. Intelligent, hyper-erotic, sex-crazed fuck birds. <laughs> Their motivations aren't that different from yours or mine. A wyvern wants to stuff its cheeks, be beaks with man flesh. Long, ragged strips of man flesh, juicy like a papaya. There Real wyverns want to fuck midair in a, halted, in a haunted caldera. Caldera, that's right. <laughs> Here, so ragged do... strips of man flesh, juicy like a papaya. I feel like we can come up with another way of saying that. Okay. No long, ragged strips. Yeah. That's fair. I'll give you that. Sheets? It was wet, but we didn't have wet. Wet sheets? Wet ribbons. Ribbons? That's like a strip. I'm not saying, listen, <laughs> you, fuck you. I'll choke you out. Well, I mean, I'm how? Gonna, no, 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 go to sleep. I'm going to put it, I'm going to get my grip on you, sleep. and you're going to go to sleep. You know what I mean? So you want to do wet ribbons? Well, it's just one. Are just they one. ragged ribbons? You're playing with forces. <laughs> Right now, that you can't okay. possibly control. Peeled off in long, wet ribbons. But ribbons feels too clean. I, I like that it would be torn and. Yeah, we, we had a great description for it here. <laughs> long, ragged strips. <laughs> Something like that. Like, I, I, but I want to be the comics. Like, oh, yeah, these fuckers. The, going back to the ragged strip well. <laughs> the ragged well. strip well. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I Wait, that. 19 years, they've already used that joke twice. <laughs> Juicy like a papaya, like a papaya. Yeah, I mean, is, is, is it like, is it like some kind of a dark Christmas? Yeah, I'm wondering if it's like something. I was thinking about those screen protectors that you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a, it's gonna be unwrapped. <laughs> or is it while he like have my skin peeled off while I scream and? Wait, well, no, because before we had the um, yeah, is a situation where. Because like you're, you're, you're you're screaming out, it's like it's like your your nerves are shrieking, right? right yeah, well, my exposed nerves. You know, I live I live for a a little while, right? That's what we're here. Yeah, yeah. 
Yep. I wonder how long. No, I'll no, live. no, 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 no. I'll, I'll be alive for the. I'll be alive for the entire process. Yeah, and and a short while after. And a short while <laughs> after. I'll be alive, fully conscious, for the entire process, and for a short while ever. <laughs> That's what I'm doing instead. That's what I'm doing instead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Yep. But when I cast the pot, it's like I cast the rod, keeping it hard like a motherfucker gas robot. I'm really cod. Today's fresh catch. I mean a podcast. Something about nets. Yes, it gets better when the winter. I'm fettered by my fish gear. Catch and release. Get in that crease when my fish near. Talk about a plant best laid off that stray. And yes, I crave that tuna with his peck fins blade. But while I'm glistening from the whole sea, you better listen into TLC. I got that. I got that wild caught salmon. It's tender and it's moist. Downloadable content. A podcast of choice. Yes. Yeah.